Welcome everyone, my name is Blossom and I am the Blossom Witch. Today we are playing a game called Forever. It's a very simple game, but I chose it for a specific reason. Outside of YouTube, I work at a grocery store as a cashier. And therefore, the minute I saw this game, I just couldn't help myself. I had to play it, and because it's pretty straightforward, I'm also going to see about if I can remember some cool stories to tell you, and some things about being a cashier at a grocery store. So, <clears throat> this game, basically, you... Come on, you pick stuff up. That doesn't scan, but you gotta find the barcode, and... And boop! And that's it. Literally, that is it. And it says forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> and then they pay. And that's it. <laughs> so, <clears throat> as a cashier, um, it it's fine like normal stuff but you definitely get your stories come on scan it's like real life jesus things sometimes don't always scan which sucks and then sometimes they scan but then they say like item not on file and you're like god damn it as the customer is now waiting in line oh god that's a lot of money <laughs> Anywho, um, I definitely have some interesting stories. Um, let's see. Okay, there was one time um, a woman had come in, and it was not on my not on my till, but on the person next to me. And everything seemed fine. She seemed like a nice lady. What is this? Somebody's phone. Ooh. Who threw that at me? Oh, where'd the phone go? Shit. <laughs> okay. I'm off track. What the? A flippin' knife. Okay, go murder someone then, I guess. Okay. A woman came by. She seemed fine. She was nice. She was buying groceries. I heard, I heard later, though, apparently she was trying to get away with stealing some, um, potatoes? A bag of potatoes. And so... She didn't have a receipt for it, so it obviously didn't go through and she paid for it and whatnot. Apparently, though, on her way out, she had a magazine, like, behind her purse that we didn't see. And apparently she's, like, known for this. She's known for stealing. And, um, but because me and the other girl were, like, kind of new. Like, we haven't been there for more than a year. So... Of course, um, someone who knows her, um, uh, we had said that no, we didn't see... Is this a coffin? Jesus. Well, I guess that person used the knife. Scan! Thank you. Um, and, well, she called security, and apparently the thing that she does is, once she calls security, she simply just drops the item at the door and they pick it up on... Like, they just then go to the door and pick it up, and all is well. So, that happened. She tried to steal a magazine. Um... And then, let's see, what a- What the hell? <laughs> There's a freaking noose! Oh my god, this is dark. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I have to say, though, when people are shopping for things, um, normally, we really don't think about what you're buying. Like, hey, if you want to buy a package of condoms and lube, whatever, go ahead and do it. We don't judge. But if it's something, like, really, really off, like, I don't know, 90 bags of rice? Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of funny and we kind of chuckle. So, yeah, and that's a true story. Some two guys came in and they bought literally 90 bags of rice. Jesus, stop spinning. <laughs> and I think two bird seeds, but 
Um, it, eh. To each his own, right? Whatever. Want to buy 90 bags of rice? Go ahead. It's just like that math problem. Billy bought 20 watermelons and... <laughs> Those questions are real life, apparently. You you giggled at them when you were younger, doing the math problems like, Who the freak buys 20 watermelons? This math equation makes no sense. It happens. It literally happens. So don't question it. Um, there's good stories and interesting stories. Oh, my radio. <laughs> It'll come through. It'll probably... I hear it. I hear it coming from that side. Holy Jesus! Anybody want some jam? Oh my god! Somebody's arm! Okay, I can say for sure now that guy who bought the knife and the coffin is f for some reason getting away with buying the guy's arm? There we go. Scanned. I don't like these big ones though. They don't There's my radio. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, okay, there's good stories and bad stories. Like, well, not bad stories necessarily. I do have one crazy story that I will save to the end. Um, if I hopefully don't forget. Um, but there's one, um, there's a little boy and this definitely like stuck with me. And he came in by himself and he comes to the till with a f like full dozen roses. And we're like, okay, this is kind of odd. I mean, like, he's not really at that age where he would have a girlfriend. Um, Jesus, that's a big bite. Um, I think he was like maybe 10 to 12. I would give him that age. So he's buying these bouquet of roses and God, these physics. There. Um, and we're like, we're just kind of casually like, so who's these roses for? Like, we're just kind of curious. Like, why is a boy his age buying a whole dozen roses? Which, by the way, is like, I think $24.99. So, what? Oh. Is it just a giant barcode? You can't miss with that. <laughs> okay, so we asked him um, what he was buying, like, who was the roses for? And he said, and this, like, breaks my heart in a good way, like, it was just the cutest thing ever. He said it was his grandmother's birthday, and he was buying him, buying her, with his own money, a bouquet of roses. And, oh my god, it just, like... My heart's breaking. <laughs> it was the cutest thing ever. I've never seen any little boy do that before. And so that was like the biggest highlight of like that day. I think actually, I think this is the same day that the woman tried to steal a magazine. Yeah, because I think that happened later in the night. Um, lots of people... Oh, no, I shouldn't say lots. Jesus, there's a lot of coffins. What is this? <laughs> Someone has a duffel bag full of money. Okay, I guess you can buy that. Um, what is... Don't tell me that's a head. That's a head! Because it matches theirs! Oh my god, that's funny. So... With produce, literally, we have to remember all the codes. Every piece of fruit, vegetable, produce has a specific code that goes with it, and we type that in in order for it to then, the computer will recognize the code being, oh, that is bananas, oh, that's a yellow pepper. So, when, and us usually, and I'm, like, usually, um, these produce usually have like a sticker on it with the code on it, so you don't necessarily, like, yeah, you have to remember them because it, it's faster, but most of the time the produce code will be on it, 
Um, but you, sometimes you have to kind of really look for it. And when we're looking for the produce code, and I don't know if it's just me that this kind of bugs me or it's like a pet peeve, people tell me the price. They're like, it was, let's say, 99 cents. I'm like, okay, that's great. I can't type in 99 cents though. So unless I, like, unless we ask, like, how much was it? Do you remember how much it was? That's a lot of money. Um, then the knowing the price is actually quite useless to us because we don't need it because it's a produce code that we need and that's what we're looking for. If you have a code, we'd love that. But hey, that could just be me. Um, geez, where's it, where is everyone getting all this money? Why did it get so dark all of a sudden? Like, where's the actual food? <laughs> I thought we were in a grocery store. It's all this scanning badness. It's insanity. I'm gonna go postal soon. He just boop, 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 boop. That would drive you nuts at some point, right? <laughs> it drives me nuts. It's just like a line of boops, boops, boops. Literally, it's. <laughs> Like this game. Just music. I mean, where I work, we have some pretty good music. It's like today's hits music, so I usually sing during my shifts. Um, like, obviously, not when a customer's standing, like, right in front of me, but, like, if I have, like, whatever, just a moment where I'm just kind of doing my own thing, scanning stuff, then I guess I tend to just sing if I like the song. And. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess we will get on to the major story of the day. Okay, so it was a late night, and I don't think it was even really that late. Um, let's see. I would give it 9 o'clock, like it, it wasn't, maybe even 8, 8 or 9 o'clock. Why am I like not scanning anything anymore? And um, well this guy comes running in and I'm in like the express lane which is right by the doors. Not like right by the doors, but like we can see the doors from where I am. And this guy comes running in, yelling, get out, get out, and, like, the apocalypse is about to happen any minute. And I'm, like, flipping out, and of course, um, okay, at work, our, f our phones at our till tend to not work for whatever reason. And, of course, like, someone tells me, the customer in front, like, who I'm servicing, tells me, like, call security, and I'm like, I literally can't. The phone doesn't work. And so I'm just like, we're kind of all just now watching this guy, kind of making sure like he doesn't do anything rash, like crazy, or like keep an eye on him, I guess. I don't know. He was like to see interesting things happen, I guess. Um, and he's like, to the point, he's like grabbing carts to keep, like, to get out the ones that are leaving with their full groceries and stuff he's like pulling them out and um, finally someone like gets security and stuff and <clears throat> um, okay little precursor everything that's occurring uh, that I'm telling you happened like five minutes uh, before at a store right next to us like and I guess they had already called the cops <coughs> And so they were on their way when he moved on to our store, but, um, yeah, so they were, like, on their way, on their way, but I think we, I think we must have called them as well. And so, from here on, I don't know what happened, they managed to get him back out to, like, we have a double door thing, so they were, like, in between the doors, so I couldn't really see what was going on, and so... What I did hear, though, after everything settled and I kind of got an update, was um, the 
in-store security guy, and he's actually a pretty, like, big guy, can hold down a person, I'm sure. Well, it took him and another guy to hold down this crazy person, and when cops came, they tased him, um, and I, I'm not 100% sure if this is rumor or not, but I heard something about how um, there was a, possibly another person involved, um, where I think he got beat up by this guy, but I'm not entirely sure. I think um, what they said was he was high off his ass, and I think possibly drunk at the same time, and just, I don't know, went crazy, I guess. So that happened at work. That's my biggest crazy story that I've ever had, and I've only been working there for... Well, less than a year. April would be a year, so a few, some months. But yeah, most of the time, nothing normally happens. Oh god. Anyway, oh my god, how long have I been playing this? So, this is forever. Yep, where five minutes feels like an hour. Oh good, I'm gonna leave things here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these stories. Okay, if you like this, or if you want to see anything like this, um, click on the like button. And if you want to suggest any other games for me to play or just have comments or just want to say hi um, leave them in the comments below and until next time thank you so much for watching I am the Blossom Witch and I will see you guys in the next video see ya